Now, let's use something called the spline wrap tool. To do that, I'm going to take a shape first, which I want to use the spline wrap with. I'm just going to choose cube to keep it simple. And over here, I got my shape, which I want to wrap around. Uh, then I need to create a spline, which I need to wrap around to. So I can choose any of the spline, which is here, or I can draw my own spline. For simplicity, I'm going to take this flower right here, which is interesting and cool. So let me just uh, uh, keep it as um, just keep uh, just increase the size of this so that it actually looks cool. There you go. So you can make adjustment to the uh, spline object right here. You can go over here on to the basic. You can go for coordinates. You can increase the coordinates right here. You can change the object out, change the number of petals, and so forth. All right. Anyways, let's start with the spline wrap. To do a spline wrap, I'm, I need to go over here on to uh, the deformers tool and then I need to select spline wrap. So let me just click that up. So over here is the spline wrap. So that is going to be the child of the cube. So I'm just going to drag it down onto cube right here. Right now, nothing happens. Now what I have to do is I need to tell the spline wrap tool to actually use the flower as the source of the spline wrap. So I'm just going to go over here, click the flower, drag it in the section where it says spline. Once I do that, you can see that this happens. So now what I can do is I can use the spline wrap. So I'm going to go over here onto the cube. Right now, I don't have enough segments, so it's not showing up properly. Let me increase the number of segments. So you can see that uh, I increased the segments to five. It actually wrapped around just like this. Let me just increase the segments until it is actually much smoother as you can see. And since this is uh, still an object, I can just resize this and there you go, there's the cube. That actually looks quite great if you ask me. So I can increase the detail as much as I want. I can also increase details from the side as you can see. And uh, I'm going to add such details so that I can rotate around and so forth. So you can see that I have my spline shape ready just like that. Now I can go to the spline wrap tool and here you can see that there are other options that you can choose from. You can choose the axis that you can choose from. I'm going to leave it to plus X. You can also choose other axis if you want to, as you can see, but the default is okay for me right now. You can also choose the offset from, so that you can see that this makes for a cool animation just like this, just like something is being drawn on, just like that. Also too is where it actually um, animates from, just like this, as you can see. So you can move around with the, these options. You can also work around with the size. So you can see that you can have something like tapering effect, just like this as well, where something is small and other is big. So you can actually work around with this. Press control, add in some points, and then work around with the shapes, just like this. So I can go around here. This is a unique effect, as you can see right there. Besides the size, you can see that there's size strength. Go below, that's the size strength. You can decrease the size, increase the size right here. You can also increase and decrease the spline size from over here as well. You go down, that's the size strength as well. So now if you were to go over here, there's rotation as well. So if you were to go over here and pull up the rotation, you can see that the rotation actually happens from that side. So you can increase the rotation strength just like that. And you can see that the spline actually rotates around. So now we are getting a bit of a polygon right here. So I may need to add in some details. Which I'm going to add in later on. So here there's the spline rotation strength as well. So I can increase the rotation strength as you can see. And this is what happens according to uh, the bar we actually drew over here. So there you go. You can increase and decrease the rotation strength on the basis of this. This gives in for a cool, cool effect as you can see right here. So now I'm going to go into uh, this cube itself. I'm in going to increase the segments right here from this side, right? So that it actually looks quite well. I, maybe I can just decrease the size of the segment Z and increase just the size of segment X and that gives enough details. And you can see that there's a smooth uh, little curve going on right about there. It almost looks like a rope. So if I were to render this out, so you can see that everything is smooth off and this actually looks cool and it didn't take us much time to actually make this. Just like that. I can go over here and remember everything is, an, um, is um, like everything can be animated right here. So they can give a cool effect just like that. So you can start the offset, the axis, and you can see that they become like a cool effect just like that. 
besides this, you have the extend mode and you have the clamp mode right here. Extend, there's the fit spline option right here. You can also keep length and that actually brings everything down there. So you can actually work around with the op offset so it actually follows the path. So gives for a little different type of an effect. So I'm going to fit the spline and there you go. That's how everything turns out. So that is how you can use the uh, spline wrap tool inside of Cinema 4D. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.